Hey, look what I got. <laughs> it's a lemon. It's a lemon in a dish. No, no, wait. Actually, I just recently picked this up. And this is so cool. You just cut the uh, end off your lemon and uh, you got this like corkscrew. It's a mister, okay? And you just corkscrew that right in there. I mean, I'm thinking it's gonna be great for cocktails that uh, you don't really want uh, citrus forward or anything. It's just, a, just the essence of uh, citrus, like lemon, right? Whoa. <laughs> and when you're going on that date, <laughs> you're in. <laughs> oh, sour. <laughs> so last time we made some guava syrup and uh, we're gonna make a cocktail today. We're gonna start with some fresh mint here. Oh yeah, not a lot of mint, right? I'm thinking, you know, like, and these are, these are kind of tiny anyway, maybe about six mint leaves, just the leaves. That's what, four, five, and six. Perfect. And our guava syrup, as you can see, it's uh, going way down because I've been drinking it. Well, not drinking it. I've been making cocktails. I made a, I made a guava colada that was really kind of cool. It was really good. Anyway, that's not what we're making today. Today we are making the hookup. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with our six uh, mint leaves and an ounce of guava syrup. Yeah. It's nice and thick, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Gonna have to make another batch, I know I am. So what we're gonna do now is just, uh, where's my muddler? <laughs> we're just gonna get in here and gently muddle that mint. This is a delicious cocktail, I'm just gonna tell you right up front. Perfect for everyday sipping. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Next, we're gonna follow that with some rum. Uh, some aged rum. I'm gonna use Eldorado 12 year old because I like it. <laughs> I did try it. I did try it with the Appleton's 12. It was nice, but I don't know. I kinda of like the Eldorado in this cocktail a little better, but that's just me. That's my tastes. One ounce. You know, maybe it's the the uh, oak casks. I find it mellower. Is that? I guess that's the way to put it. And the the fruit flavors and the spices just seem to be more balanced than the Appleton. But Appleton's nice. You know, there's nothing wrong with Appleton. Next, we're going to add some pineapple rum. Now, this is a little wonderful product out of the UK. Admiral Old J Pineapple Spiced Rum. It's actually very delicious. Admiral's Old J Pineapple Spiced Rum has a fresh tropical flavor profile blending Caribbean rum. Spices, lime, and subtle hints of vanilla flavored with sweet notes of pineapple. At 35% ABV, this rum bursts with fruity, sweet tropical flavors. And you know, I think it's perfect for everyday sipping. It really is a delight. <laughs> We're gonna go with one ounce. Then I got to thinking, what else goes with guava? Well, there's lots of things. Coconut, uh, strawberries. Um, in my case, Golden 8 Pear. It's a wonderful, wonderful product. So that's all I've got. So. If you find it, pick it up because it is wonderful. So yeah, pear and guava, they mix wonderfully together. You know, I have other pear liqueurs on the bar. Um, like, I've got Hungarian golden pear liqueur. You know, whoa. 
this is like neon and it's really weird because yeah, it's really weird. This smells like pears and I'm getting a little caramel flavor in there too, you know. Where this, this smells like bananas. <laughs> I don't get it, man. <laughs> this is cheap. This is expensive. <laughs> Just saying. Anyway, moving on. Lemon juice is next. <laughs> no, we're not just gonna spritz. We are going to, uh, we are gonna press uh, about three quarters of an ounce here is what I'm looking for. And that looks pretty good actually. Yeah, it does. Yum. Okay, all we're gonna do is just uh, drop in some ice here in our shaker. Shake the hell out. How am I shaking today? Viv? <laughs> Where's the crickets? crickets. Yeah. <laughs> shake it like you'd shake your tail for, for a hookup? I don't yeah. know. Shake it like you'd shake your tail for a hookup. <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> Does this show even make any sense? Come on! Who knows? All I know is I like to drink. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, we've got a little rock glass here. We're gonna put some fresh ice in this wonderful little rock glass. We are going to just fine strain it over top. Oh, lovely color. It's the color of, well, it's the color of a tropical breeze. I can smell the pineapple. How cool is that? Yeah. Get all that goodness. Yeah, baby. Sweet. Okay, and garnish. Eh, it doesn't really need a garnish, but you know, I'm thinking a little cinnamon stick. Why not? You know, oh, wait, one more ingredient. Some Angostura bitters. I tried it. I tried this cocktail with grapefruit bitters, thinking, yeah, grapefruit would really, really work. And, but, you know, the Angostura just came through so much nicer. Two dashes. And there we have it. The hookup. Okay, let's check this out. Oh, wow. Of course I get the cinnamon and I get the, the Angostura bitters right off the bat, which is always welcoming. It really is. Wow. It is a delight, it really is. It's really, what's the word? What, is, what, is this, what does this word mean? Punchy? Yeah, well. Pizzazz? Pizzazz, no. Pizzazzify? Pizzazzify. <laughs> no, it's, it's, uh, it's light and refreshing. I hate those words. I use them all the time, right? But it is, it's light. It's really easy going down. I'm, I'm tasting rum, of course I am, but I think the pineapple actually takes over a little more over top of the El Dorado. It blends really, really nicely with the guava. I am tasting the guava ever so slight. And you know, where would you use guava anyway? Like a guava syrup, right? I'm thinking practically any recipe that just calls for simple syrup. Replace it with guava syrup and you got a whole new taste sensation. Yeah, this is, this is really good. There's just enough lemon to take off the, uh, the sweetness from the rums and uh, the guava syrup. And the mint, the mint is just like, just you. It's, I, maybe it's the mint that actually perks it up and makes it refreshing. I don't, this is a delight, it really is. Maybe we should make another uh, cocktail with uh, 
our wonderful guava syrup. I've got a little bit left, <laughs> so um, can we can we get even more uh, refreshing than this, baby? <laughs> Why don't we try? Next time. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> we can do it now. I'm in. Come on. Wait. No. Don't. Don't cut me. Oh, and it, <laughs> but wait, there's more. It comes with a, it comes with a lime spritzer too. I think I broke it. No, no, we're good. We'll demonstrate that later. Bruce, can we start the episode now? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, sure. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> you're still here? <laughs> I'm here too. <laughs> Just playing with my lemon. <laughs> and my hook up. You need to get hooked up too. Check out uh, these guys. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> you know what to do. Anyway, make this hook up. I mean, it is a delight. It's refreshing. It's tropical. <laughs>